Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. You also have bros who are divorced. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately. So what goes wrong there? Lack of whatever you said you should. Yeah. And the reason for getting married. You see, it cannot be a business deal. It cannot be a great opportunity. It has got to be the union of two souls, man. And it, everybody involved in that marriage should understand that. Or else, for your own agenda, you'll end up spoiling the life of two people completely, ruining them, you know, ruining a child's life. Um, and we don't, like a lot of Western things don't fall well with us, you know. It's, uh, even though we want to live, like, how many Western systems have we adopted shamelessly? Yeah? What, what, is it, what makes you think that that's the right way of living? Shared parentage, uh, you know, things like that. Hey, the child is traumatized. Hamara wo karta tha. I mean, I'm absolutely nothing wrong and nothing not against divorces. If, if it's a not working relationship, by all means. But be careful when you're getting into the wedding in the first place. No? Make sure it's because of the right reasons. Because the amount of respect you have for each other or the love. Um, because it has to go through trauma, man. It is, it's not going to be easy. No, the happy married life is a myth. Yeah, it's it's just a little strange for my head. Again, I'm not judging this. I'm just curious about this. In terms of after 25 years of marriage, why would a couple want a separation? Uh, which is what you were saying, this 40-year-old lonely guy. So now he's seen that there's a complete transformation in the partners that they got married to. One is completely now post social media wants to you know have this 40th birthday live the way they're supposed to this guy didn't bargain for that and you realize that this guy now his wife has completely changed or the husband has completely changed and the woman is like i didn't marry this guy and she finds his best friend who is not changed to be far more attractive believe it or not 90 percent of these marriages have broken because the husband or the wife has married the partner's best friend that doesn't sit right with the bro's heart in me like I, I, I could never visualize myself doing that to any bro. Or no, not bro. Life. I'm saying you married a woman and you realize she's changed and you ended up finding her friend who has not changed. <sighs> and you're now those divorces are resulting in these guys getting together and the wife feeling I, I got betrayed by a friend. I, I'm saying it. I'm telling you how many people will relate to it and say, oh God, how does he know? But this is the maximum reaction because people want to stay married. They just realize they're staying married to the wrong person. Oh, shit, dude. People want to stay married, but they realize they're married to the wrong person. Yeah. But 25 years. In yeah. Even more now than ever before. Because 25 years of complete social media change, everything. YouTube, okay, this game, change in culture, overexposed to information, cultural, uh, you know, this thing, acceptances, the plurality, the, everything. Suddenly the person you thought you got married to is different. And for some men, it's easy to accommodate that, understand, wise enough to see that this is going to happen. Yet others feel completely out in the, in the wind. Yeah, they don't know how to handle it. Do some of them make it wrong? Yeah, which is a what? forty-year birthday was not a was not a thing, man. You understand what I'm saying? Till ten years ago, fortieth birthday was not an event in your life. Valentine's Day was not an event in our life. Was. It became more and more. I mean, I remember Valentine's Day. Kile sala card me mara mari hoti thi. We used to stand outside hall, Hallmark. Under go traumatized there. Card ni mila. A donkey card ni dia. Fir wo ye. So you know, excitement tha. But it put a big change in the way marriage was being perceived. Even bros change, no brother. Yeah. The equations between the bros also change. Yeah. So when you can accept that with bros, why can't you accept that with the with the wife? Or a husband. I would argue that you don't have to live with the bros. Oh, no, you do. Oh, you do. You do. Of course you do. See, because... Huh, so why you don't care? Or you're okay with that change? That's where it becomes easy to accept. You know, when you, when you let somebody at 31, when you let somebody that close to your life and you have to share the bed with them every day and you have to smell them and you have to feel them and you have to hear them and they get into the most intimate part of your life they are sharing the same bathroom you've developed this eccentricity that this is how i want everything to be placed and kept they are not used to this they had left everything to come and share your place it's uh it's grinding and crushing and and you know and uh, unsharpening of the teeth happening every time 
you have to be ready for that and the person has to be worth it you have to feel that the other person is worth it so that's what i was answering your question so this divorces that happen at a at this age at a later stage this is the reason no one teaches you how to turn 40 or 50 yeah and this is great that you're giving your experience and yeah. but one's not going to realize until one is that absolutely and you'll find a your own unique solution man whatever i say is based on my experience it could be completely not and not non relatable and non accurate for you hey if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel you'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it